today we will see misconceptions and common mistakes about discount and tax. Misconception 1. If 10% discount is applied on the marked price, that is MP of an item, and 10% tax is applied on its selling price, will the item be sold at marked price? Some children see that discount and tax rate are similar and think that the item will be sold at marked price only. They do not logically try to understand it and choose option 1 in a hurry, which is a wrong answer. Remember that discount is paid at marked price and sales tax is levied on selling price of the article. Here, 10% discount is given on the marked price of the item, that is, if the value of the item is rupees 100, then the discount will be rupees 10. In this way, the selling price is equal to marked price minus discount is equal to 100 rupees minus 10 rupees is equal to 90 rupees. Since sales tax, 10% is levied on selling price, hence sales tax is equal to 10% of rupees 90 is equal to rupees 10 by 100 multiplied by 90 is equal to 9 rupees. Similarly, by adding the sales tax with the selling price, the due amount of the bill is obtained. 90 rupees plus 9 rupees is equal to 99 rupees. Here, we will see that the bill amount is not equal to the marked price. So, the goods will not be sold at the marked price, that is, Option 2 is the correct answer. Now, let's see some mistakes. Mistake 1. If children are asked to express discount in percentage, then children cannot decide if discount is equal to total discount divided by marked price multiplied by 100% or write discount is equal to total discount divided by selling price multiplied by 100%. Keep in mind that discount is always given on the marked price. That's why we find discount on marked price. That is, the correct formula is discount is equal to total discount divided by marked price multiplied by 100%. Mistake 2 Amit buys a watch for rupees 200 which includes 5% GST. Find the initial price of the watch. Some children ignore the information given in the question, which makes them difficult to understand the question. They do not understand why the word includes is used in the question. They do 200 rupees multiplied by 5%, that is 200 multiplied by 5 by 100 to find the initial price, which makes them understand that GST is equal to 10 rupees is received. They combine it with rupees 200 and get the initial price of the watch 210 rupees. But this is a wrong answer. That is, option 1 is wrong answer. Here, 5% GST is already included in rupees 200. So, to find the initial price of the watch, we have to subtract GST from rupees 200. Here, 5% GST means 5 by 100, that is, if we consider the selling price of the item as rupees 100, then the GST will be rupees 5. In this way, the initial price will be selling price minus GST is equal to 100 rupees minus 5 rupees is equal to 95 rupees. When the selling price is rupees 100, then the initial price is rupees 95. In this way, when the selling price is rupees 1, then the initial price will be rupees 95 by 100. In this way, when the selling price is rupees 200, then the initial price will be rupees 95 by 100 multiplied by 200 is equal to rupees 190. In this way, before adding GST, the value of the watch, that is, initial price will be rupees 190. Hence, the correct answer is option 2. Today we have seen misconceptions and common mistakes about discount and tax.